So mail day is normally not Tuesday. It's normally on Friday, but I did bump it up this week for a reason. Just I'll get to it in a second, but uh, let's get to some awesome stuff. First up, two books. These come to us from Stefano Serio, who writes, Dear Ted, I like your channel a lot. I find that it's a great mix between technique and culture. That is exactly what we need to improve our profession. I don't know if you know the fine art field in Italy. These are my latest two books. Chinese Fun is the last book that I did in film with my Ebony 4x5, and Night Games is my first in digital with my Alpa STC and Phase 1 100. Stefano, these are absolutely beautiful. Thank you for sending them. I will link up to both of Stefano's websites in the show description. Also, I mentioned that normally Friday is mail day. I moved it up to Tuesday. There is a reason why, and it has to do with presets. The sale on presets ends tonight at midnight. So if you want presets, it's a great way to support the channel. I'm really happy with the way these came out. Now is the time to do it. I will link these in the show description as well. Essentially, I've got 16 Lightroom presets. They work in Lightroom Classic, Lightroom CC. You can sync them up to your mobile devices. They also work in Adobe Camera Raw. And I did four different types of presets. I've got Instagram looks. I've got modern color looks. I've got some vintage color looks that I'm really excited about. And I've also got some monochrome profiles that emulate paper and little subtle cuddlers and toning that you get uh, when doing monochrome printing. And so head over to the link below. I'll put it in the show description. Check them out. Today's the last day. Right now you can save like 40% off. They go up after this. It's a good way to support the channel. Next up is this little book, which comes to us from Tony Skakovic. This is called 11019. And I love this because it's very similar to a book that I featured last week that someone had sent in. We're making the best of a situation and turning it into a creative opportunity to make something really beautiful. Let me write what the intro says in here. It says, being stuck on an airplane for three hours is hardly a fun experience. I feel like I have no choice but to waste time, sleep, veg, or consume someone else's creation. Listen to a podcast, watch TV or a movie, or just let your mind wander and think create yourself. Looking at the airplane window at varied cloudscapes seems like a good start. On an early winter flight from Dallas to Toronto, I seized this opportunity to loosen myself in this ethereal world far above the ground and away from reality. Soft shapes passing by the airplane window, a perfect space to let my mind wander. This booklet is the result of that photo session from takeoff at DFW to landing at YYZ three hours later, a different way to journal a flight and dreamscape of Midwestern skies. Tony, this is a beautiful book. Book. Thank you for sharing it. I will link up to this in the description. Also cool, it says in the back here, all images in this book were captured with Google Pixel 2 XL smartphone camera processed in Adobe Lightroom and used Blurb for the printing on here. And so, you know, guys, you can use what you got. You don't need fancy things to make awesome stuff. This is a prime example of that. Thank you, Tony. Okay, this is pretty cool, and I think I know what it is. When you get one of these in the mail with this little sack, um, I have talked about using Adorama Picks to do printing. I actually have a discount code if you guys want to get 20% off your order, and I know what this is. This is a book that someone had made. This is from Ed Rudledge, and Ed, this is awesome. Thanks for a great workshop. There he is on the back. Ed is a friend of mine. He was at the workshop that I did with Hugh Brownstone last month, and this, I knew he was going to do it, is a book chronicling that experience.
Okay, Ed, this is outstanding. I didn't know this was coming so soon, but I'm going to use this as a segue because when we did that workshop, I did a video to follow up and I talked about some of the stuff we did on the workshop and showcased a few of the photographers that we had. Well, we had a couple guys that were shooting film and could not turn their images around immediately. So I just want to take a second and show you some of the work that some of the students did at our workshop last month. I'm really proud of these guys. Let's roll it. You know, this stuff is super special to me. I'm pretty biased because I was one of the instructors on this workshop, but it really does mean something to me. And I love the fact that Ed did a book of his stuff. You know, I think that photography, and we talked a lot about this on the workshop, there are many purposes and reasons that we shoot photographs and why we make art. And a lot of it are creative reasons. A lot of them are creative reasons. There's things that we need to be able to express that come from within. And then also there is just the documenting and not only documenting what the photographer sees at a certain time, but these images, in particular Ed's book, they document for me the experience that we had last month in New York City. And so it kind of has this, you know, several layers or dimensions that you see through on that level. There's there's creative exercises, there's photographic expression, and then finally there's just the documentation and something to remember the whole thing by. And so this is really cool. And, you know, I know Ed feels this way too, but it, you know, being able to share your images online is a wonderful wonderful thing and one of the things that I think we get very spoiled to in the modern age because we have so much and we can use any of these resources to distribute our images and get them seen. We didn't have these pre-internet, but there's something magical about going back and creating an object like this that's something that you can have to remember something by. And so this is really special to me. Ed, I, I, I'm not going to put it back in the little canvas pouch. This is going to sit out where I can see it and remember it by. So thanks for sending this. Much appreciated. Okay, this is pretty cool too. And I recognize this when I saw it through the plastic here. This comes from Aaron Chen. Hold on one second. Let's get this out of the plastic stick here. I love now that we have an ASMR component to mail time. Okay, before I read this, I want to show you the images and where I recognize these from. So both of these were featured in photo assignments. And this one I remember in particular because it was probably one of my favorite episodes of photo assignments. It was the one where I simply said, do a self-portrait. And it was really amazing to be able to see what you guys actually look like. I mean, YouTube and Facebook and all the places that I put these videos to be distributed, they're very impersonal. And since you have anonymous usernames, and sometimes goofy avatars and stuff. This was a really special and really amazing photo assignment. And both of these were featured and this is kind of cool. So I want to read this note. Hi, Ted. My name is Aaron Chen and I'm a photographer currently based in the Bay Area, but formerly of Massachusetts. You actually featured two of my photos on two different photo assignments and I was absolutely elated to see them in those summary videos. It has been a while since, but I wanted to mail you some small prints of the ones that you featured. This one's called Western Scene at Derry and Aaron says this was taken at one of his favorite places which is a local dairy called Flavors of Cook Farm in Hadley, Massachusetts. And uh, he basically, this was submitted for the eye level photo assignment and was taken on his first cell phone, or actually his cell phone at the time, a Lumia 950. Uh, again, great stuff can be made with low tech. And this one is Self Portrait in Snow, which was obviously done for the self portrait assignment. And he said, it shouldn't become a surprise to hear this from somebody hailing from New England, but I would regularly have to deal with snowstorms in the winter and early spring. So this was done on a shoveling break designed to make you feel cold. I'm feeling cold just looking at it. Thanks for printing these out and sharing them, Aaron. These are awesome. This is an interesting, obscurely wrapped book in white that says Ex Voto. There's a card here as well. It says uh, Ex Voto at 2019 or AT, oh, AT 2019. This is from Alice Tomlinson, initials photographer. It says on the note, Dear Ted, I've been past your details by my friend Mike Crawford, who did Obsolete and Discontinued, which I featured 
gosh, probably a month or two ago. Uh, Here's my new book, Ex Voto, if you'd be interested in reviewing. Very best, Alice. work, Alice. Thank you for sharing. I will link up to this book in the show description. You guys don't forget presets. They go off sale at midnight tonight. So if you want them at like 40% off, now is your time to do so. So head over. I will link up in the show description. Until the next video, I'll see you guys then. Later.